Hi, I'm Brother Prater. Welcome to my page. I hope you're enjoying your day. I'm going to give you some words of encouragement. When you pursue your purpose in life, you can't worry about what people say about you or what they think about you. Think about it. People have been talking about you all along, but you just not found out about it. Or you just now found out that they feel a certain way about you. So realize this. Think about the timing. You just finding out when you make up in your mind about pursuing a goal or whatever. That's a distraction to try to stop you from doing it. You can't let that stop you. You can't let, well, uh, uh, they hurt my feelings or I, they were supposed to be helping me. Realize this. There's going to be some people that you may be close to, people you might have grown up with, or maybe people that are in your family. You expect for them to help you. You expect for them to encourage you. But guess what? They ain't. They hadn't been and they won't. Guess what? You still move forward. You can't let that stop you. You can't let anything stop you. Remember this. God gave you the task. God gave you the assignment. He gave you the plan. So if you're waiting on support, then guess what? You ain't going to get it. Let what God told you be your support. God told you. And also realize this. You don't have to get other people's opinion or get a confirmation. Realize God told you. He didn't tell y'all. He told you. The other people, they weren't in the meeting when God was telling you, when God was giving you the plan, when God made provision. They weren't there. God told you. So if you waiting for people to help you or to support you, you go forward. You go forward. And as you obey, God is going to send people to help you. God going to send people even to fund you. But you can't pick people. Because most of the time, the people that you pick are the ones that ain't going to help you. You obey what God told you to do. And as you moving forward, God will send people in the right timing at the right place to help you and to encourage you while you are walking in obedience. That's when your help, that's when your supporters were, and that's where they will be at. As you are walking in obedience. In other words, as you moving forward. But as long as you standing still waiting for an audience, guess what? You won't make it. God has already sent your audience to the place that you're supposed to be at. God already sent people in place. God placed people strategically in the places where you need to be at. In other words, you need to go to them. You need to go to the place that God told you to. And they will be there to help you. Even those people who may have may have done you wrong, but you still love them. You still respect them. You still pray for them. Those people, even your enemies, God will place your enemies strategically in the place to help you or to encourage you or even to pay for things that seem like you don't even have enough money to buy. God will even have your enemies to bless you. So don't worry about, well, they were supposed to be my friend. They promised me they were going to help me. Then uh, don't even worry about that. And also think about this. That ain't your responsibility to worry about it. That's God's responsibility. So you obey what God told you to do. And I guarantee you, listen, I'm going to say this. I'm telling you from personal experience, personal experience. For those that really know me, they can vouch for me. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brother Prater. I don't really talk about my personal life or whatever on my page. But allow my testimony to be an encouragement to you. There are many times that I'm, I was expecting people to help me. People that I might have grown up with or whatever like that. People within the church or people I know in various churches. They didn't help me. You know what God told me to do? God told me to move forward. God told me to listen and trust him. And as I trust him, God put people that I didn't even know in my path to bless me. To give me this. Uh, regardless if it was finances or material or whatever. You're looking at one blessed man. 
but not just financially, but also even with something that most people don't have that they are dying for. And that's a peace of mind. So I'm telling you from personal experience, don't wait for an audience. Don't wait for somebody to give you a word of encouragement in order for you to do what God told you to do. You do it. You do it. You move forward. If God leading upon your spirit to go back to school, to create a job, to start a new job adventure, or even to start your own business, if God pressing upon your heart too, then you seek him. You seek him for it. You ask him. You inquire to him. Don't listen. I'm not being funny, but don't you talk to somebody who ain't got nothing and who don't want nothing. You have the same mind that God gave to those people that's in the Bible. In other words, you listen to God. You listen to God and you listen to the instruction that God gave you, but also you do your homework. You see successful people, you see people who already got their degree or who got their own business and who are going forward. You link yourself with those type of people. Link yourself with like-minded people, people who are trying to go somewhere. But as long as you're trying to wait for somebody who ain't got nothing and you expect for them to encourage you, if they can't encourage themselves, they sure can't encourage you. So you do what God told you to do and you seek God. Ultimately, you seek God and let God guide you and direct you in the plans and the purpose that he has for you. And if he has given you some instructions, the best thing for you to do is do it. Let us pray. Damn the Father, we come to you right now, God. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness, God. We come to you right now, God. There are those who are watching this video, God, who may need a word of encouragement, God. God, there may be someone, God, who are waiting, God, after you have given them the instructions, God. They may be waiting for something, God. God, let them know, God, that you have already told them what to do and when to do it, and that is now, God. God, we speaking, God, that you encourage those who may need a word of encouragement, God, who may not know which direction to go, God. We speaking, God, that you open up their eyes, open up their understanding, God, and let them know what they need to do right now, God, in the name of Jesus. And stand about everything you stand for, we bind every negative of thought right now in the name of Jesus and we're not using the negativity to defeat us but we're going to allow that negativity to encourage us and let us know God that they may not support us but God you will God and in the right time you will send people that will help us right now and we thank you Lord for what you've already done God and Lord we thank you Lord for the testimony coming from this God and Lord we speaking God that you allow this God not just to be a testimony God but God let this God open up the eyes and ears and understanding of people and let them know, God, what you can do right now, God. God, let them know first and foremost, God, if they seek you, God, and seek your kingdom, God, there is nothing that you will withhold from them right now, God. And God, we thank you, Lord, for opening up our path right now, God, and open up many paths for us right now, God. And God, ultimately, God, we thank you, Lord, for being our source, God, being our provider right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we speaking, God, that you remove every doubt, every fear right now in the name of Jesus, every complacency right now in the name of Jesus and we thank you for everything you've done everything you're going to do right now in Jesus name we pray we say amen 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 I thank you for watching this video and I pray that it ministers to you be blessed